Hello guys, in a previous video for this PC400 we were looking at the tracks here. I changed the idler gear for a better one and I replaced the motor uh, kind of bracket there that holds the motor. But we found that the track here was just a little bit too loose to uh, keep the tension on the uh, drive sprocket here. So one of the viewers had what I think is a very good suggestion was to simply change the diameter of the idler wheel here that would just add enough tension so that the gear or so that the track couldn't spin on the drive sprocket there. So all I'm going to do in this video, well it sounds easy, but I'm going to take off uh, this little pin here, take out the sprocket, measure it, mock it up on a, a CAD package there and we'll uh, 3D print a slightly larger one. And with any luck that'll just add enough tension to our tracks Maybe we'll need to do a different diameter on either side, but we'll see how it goes. We'll try the same diameter first, and hopefully that'll t add enough tension to the tracks that it won't spin on the drive sprocket anymore. So the first thing I need to do is get the track off, and that means pulling it off the drive motor there. Not the ideal way to do it, but if we're replacing this idler wheel in future, we'll have this slack, we'll just have to uh, hang the track on the drive sprocket which will be mounted on the motor already and then just pull back this gear and put the pin through it because we'll have removed this pin, we'll have a little bolt there maybe and that should make things a little bit easier it'll also add a good bit more tension to it uh, because there's clearly a lot of slack when we're able to slide the, the drive sprocket onto the motor like that So. What I'm going to have to do first of all is drill out this little pin, get it out of there and we'll redesign this little idler wheel here. Well here's the idler wheels out of the model there, it's nothing special, it looks to be basically symmetric around the centre so I don't think we'll have any problem uh, printing that. I'll not print this bit of uh, this kind of uh, indent that's in the sides of the wheel here because it'll make it a lot easier to print if I just print it solid but um, yeah I think that's going to be fairly straightforward in terms of securing the wheel back in I think an M3 bolt is going to work fine we get this one in here so you can see there there's very little play so I'd say that's going to be perfectly fine I just need a longer bolt well here's my little 3D printed uh, idler wheel you can see it split in half there when I was taking out the um, what do you call it the uh, oh, the support material out in the middle when I was taking that out uh, the wheel split in half that happened for both of the wheels but mostly it's alright I drilled the holes out to 3 mil just to make sure they were perfect there and uh, yeah, it seems to have tensioned up the track a right bit if I throw it on I have one on the other side already so Let's just get the wheel on here. Need to get the, the tread right, there it is. So that's the wheel on. Now let's put the pin through it. Easier said than done, maybe. Ah, there we go. Okay, so there's the track on, and it's a good bit tauter than it was. And the same on the other side. One of the tracks is a little looser than the other, but still, I don't think it's loose enough that it's going to slip off the gear anymore. So let's give it a little bit of power and see what happens. Okay, so we're hooked up now. I have uh, three 3.7 volt batteries hooked up there in series. So we should have power now. It's not exactly wired perfectly, but let me see. Ah, there we go. I think one of the tracks is a little, or one of the motors on the tracks is a little underpowered, so it's not just, see, catches there. So, 
Or maybe this track is too taut. Uh, at that point it's very tight there. So maybe the 26 is too tight for one size. I'll have to make another wheel at uh, 25 maybe. And see how that goes. Or maybe just sand that one down a little. Could be uh, that there's still rough edges on it. Yeah, cause it, it just seems to get to that point and then get tight. But the other track seems to work perfectly. So I guess the one on the left was the looser track and that's not slipping now. So I wonder if I just switch back to the original gear will the one on the right uh, work fine as well. So I tried the original gear, uh, this one here, and it was too too small so this was very loose there. So what I did then was take the gear that I printed and put it on an M3 shaft and I could see that it wasn't even uh, the two sides of it. For whatever reason the the hole in the middle was slightly off centre so I uh, got two nuts either side of it on an M3 shaft, uh, tightened it up and put that in the uh, drill, set it going and just levelled it off with a file uh, nice and slowly and I think that's improved it a little but it's uh, or not improved it a little, it's improved it quite a bit. That improved it a good bit, but it's still a little bit tight there. Um, I'd say this motor is probably a higher RPM than the other one. And I think it's too fast actually. It, it, it seems to be going really fast, whereas the other one seems to be going at kind of a realistic speed. So I'd say if I replace this motor, it would probably be fine. It'd probably wear down the idler gear and this other gear a little bit better and uh, then it just worked perfectly but at the minute it's still getting a little bit caught you can see there see, see it's fairly tight there probably if I go you see it's loose then it's tight although it looks like it's getting tight on the gear maybe can you see that let me see don't know if you can see that but it looks like one of the teeth is out there it's not where it's supposed to be if that goes in right then it's loose again so I wonder well it's not happened that time I thought maybe the gear wasn't working perfectly but um, uh, well it looked like it wasn't there but this time it doesn't seem to have been caught there it's getting caught somewhere else I guess so maybe I need to redo that gear and if I get the uh, stronger motor it'll probably work fine the other is just or the other uh, track seems to work perfectly Okay guys, well that's our new idler gears installed, uh, I'll have to do a little bit of work on uh, at least one of them to try and figure out why it's getting a little bit taut there, but uh, it seems to be working much better than it was at least, I'll probably just have to kind of tune in the diameter of uh, one of the gears a little bit better, but uh, it looks like so far so good. If you want to see how I designed the idler wheel there should be a card in the top right corner of the video where you can uh, click to see me design the gear in Fusion 360 and then send it to Repetia Host for printing. So if you liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video or head on to the forum. Well that's all I have for this video so thanks very much for watching.